Countdown for a blast off. X minus five, minus four, minus three, minus two, X minus one, fire. From the far horizons of the unknown come transcribed tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are stories of the future. Adventures in which you'll live in a million could be years on a thousand would be worlds. The National Broadcasting Company presents X X X minus one. Tonight, universe. We are just beginning to discover how boundless our universe really is. And yet, as man reaches out to the stars, out toward infinity, ironically enough, he may be building himself a new kind of prison. What would it be like to live all your life in a world no larger, say, than a single gigantic rocket ship bound on an endless mercy? Hugh, look out! You alright? Yes, just missed me. What was it? A mutant with a slingshot, I think, must have dashed down that passageway. Want to go after it? No. We'd never catch it, Alan. Probably twelve decks above us by now. I didn't think that they ever came down this far. Patrols usually get them before they reach this level. They get more daring each generation. This one looked like a female. Male or female, it might have killed us. I told you this trip was pure foolishness. Climbing twenty-four deck levels to hear a crazy old man rave. All right, Alan. We're almost there now. Let me see. Compartment X-15, level 24. This is the place. Phew. This area smells as if it hasn't been visited by a sanitation crew for generations. Hmm. This part of the ship is almost deserted. Yes? Is this the compartment of John the Witness? Who are you? My name is Hugh Hoyland, cadet from Scientist's Barracks. This is my friend, Alan Mahoney. What do you want of John the Witness? Well, only to talk. You are a believer in the word of John. Naturally. I have heard that there are those amongst the young scientists who doubt the word of Jordan. To doubt is death. We are not heretics. Ah, enter. I've brought you a gift of tobacco, grown on the richest levels. Hmm, smells good. I assure you, it's of the best. Mm, wait here. I'll get him. What a rat's nest. Shh! Well, what the devil do you think he can tell you? Alan, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well? Are you John the Witness? I am. Good eating to you. I am Hugh Hoyland, and this is my friend Alan Mahoney. What brings a gentleman of the scientist class to my humble compartment? I've heard that you, and your parents before you, have been keepers of the legend of the ship. Since Jordan gave the word. I'm anxious to hear the word as Jordan spoke it. Why? Still, some of them say the ship has no purpose. They say that we are here accidentally. That we have no more grace in Jordan's eyes than the most deformed mutant who dwells in the highest levels of the ship. What shall I say to you? Well, I wish to hear the word from the mouth of one who knows, in order that I may become more convinced. Sit. You have a gift for the witness. The finest tobacco. Good. I will dim the lights. Now, pay close attention, for these are the words as my father's father's father gave them to his son's son's son. This is how the ship came into being, how our people were created. <laughs> In the beginning, there was only Jordan, thinking his lonely thoughts. Out of his thoughts came a vision, out of his vision came a planning, and out of the planning came decision. 
Jordan's hand was lifted and the ship was born. Mile after mile of good compartment, tank after tank for golden corn, ladder and passage, door and locker, fit for the needs of the yet unborn. He looked on his worth and found it pleasing meat for the race that was yet to be. He thought of the man, a man came into being. Then Jordan checked his thoughts and searched for a key. Man untamed would shame his maker. Man unruled would spoil the plan. So Jordan made the regulations an order came to the works of man. A crew he created to work at their station, scientists to guide the plan. Over them all he created captain, made him judge of the race of man. Thus, it was the golden age! These are the true words? as my father's father taught them. But what of the strange, beast-like people on the upper levels of the ship? Surely Jordan did not create them. Jordan is perfect. All below him lack perfection. You have heard of the legend of Huff. I have heard that he mutinied against Jordan. Darkness swallowed the wave of virtue. Sin prevailed upon the ship, and before wisdom prevailed, and the bodies of Huff and his followers were fed into the converter. Some of the rebels escaped and lived to father the mutants. They're tainted with the sins of their fathers. Witness, one more question. Speak. What is the ship? The ship is a great sphere, 25 kilometers wide and 100 levels deep. I know that, but the upper levels. Regulations forbid us to venture into the upper levels. But it is said that beyond the levels of the mutants lies the forbidden place where Jordan's spirit prevails. So I've heard. Yet something troubles me. Something which prompted my coming here. Yes, my son. Lies beyond the ship. What? What lies beyond the ship? This is hursery! Answer me! I will not permit such talk. The ship is complete, the ship is universal, the ship is everywhere, the ship is endless, the ship is- Your mutterings are those of a frightened old man. They answer nothing. You question the word? I think you lie. Hear me, Mr. Hoyland. For what you have already said, I can have your body fed into the converter, your soul launched on an endless trip. You threaten me? Hugh, for Jordan's sake. Do you think I fear this dried fig of a man? Hugh! Sir, my friend is impetuous. He, he does not understand. I might be persuaded to forget. A substantial gift. Why, you pig! Hugh! Come on, Alan. The sight of this so-called holy man offends me. No, you shall not leave. Don't try to frighten me with that gun, old man. Remain where you are, heretic. I warn you, put down that gun. No, no, no closer! Drop it! Very well, then. DEATH TO THE HERETIC! Ugh. Alan, get him! Ugh. Alan, he's not breathing. Is he dead? I... I don't know. Come on, Hugh, we've got to get out of here. Right. Now where? We can't go back. They'd feed us into the converter before we could even... What's that? An alarm. That old woman must have turned it in. Come on, Alan. The patrol will be here in no time. Where can we go? Yes. Where? Where? The upper levels. No. The mutants. We'll have to take our chances. Come on, Alan. Let's go. And that was Universe 
X minus one, starring Charlotte Broken Brown, Cherry Barber Mansell, Rebecca Bertram. <laughs>